Hello everyone, this is Ryan with MyCellSignalBooster.com here today to talk to you about our brand new Universal Yagi Antenna Extension Kit. Uh, this is a universal solution for multiple carriers, uh, including but not limited to Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, uh, Virgin, Metro PCS, uh, just about every carrier out there. It'll work for voice, 2G, 3G, 4G, 4G LTE, uh, pretty much any uh, any data technology out there. And it is designed for uh, boosting the signal to data cards, Wi-Fi hotspots, USB modems, etc. Uh, it's a completely passive solution, uh, meaning that there's no amplifier involved. And basically uh, how it works is the, your outdoor signal is captured um, by the Yagi antenna. It is brought inside over the 40-foot LMR240 low-loss coaxial cable and then it is inductively coupled into your device with the Wilson uh, patch antenna. We also include a roof mount with this kit. Um, so there you have it. That's how it works. Uh, that is what is included with the kit. Uh, the rest of this video will go through a, uh, a brief installation to show you how, how this kit would be installed and show you in real time uh, the kind of results you can expect uh, from this kit and show you how, how it actually works. So thank you and enjoy. Alright, so we are up on the roof um, performing the Yagi antenna installation. I actually already have an existing uh, antenna mast on my roof so I did not use the one that comes with the kit but the process is the same. Uh, so basically what I've done is mounted the Yagi to the mast here. Uh, I've included, included the drip loop here so basically you want your connection at the top uh, so that any water that would land on this cable uh, during rain or whatever uh, would roll off and away from the connection and not not down into the connection. Uh, so I'll walk around it here. So again I haven't tied up all the cable yet but uh, you can see the how it actually attaches to the the mast antenna mast here. Uh, it's just the four four nuts with the the u-bolts on the other side just clamping it to the pipe and then you'll want to line your antenna towards the closest uh, tower for AT&T uh, my tower is that direction so um, I actually use a, an app on my iPhone uh, called open signal uh, that should point you in the closest uh, or the direction of the closest tower uh, and actually uses the compass on the iPhone to kind of guide you um, you don't have to be perfect but uh, it should be in the ballpark um, generally within 15 20 degrees should should be fine so so that's our uh, Yagi antenna installation. Alright, so we now have the cable inside the home. Um, here is the other end of the cable that we ran uh, up on the roof um, from the Yagi antenna. So here's our FME uh, male connection here. Uh, our FME female on the Wilson adapter cables right here. The cable itself is probably, I don't know, 18 inches or so. And it actually adheres to your device um, with Velcro. It comes with a uh, with Velcro already attached to it. Um, now, if you don't want to put Velcro on your device, that's fine. You could uh, secure it with some other means. Uh, just for testing, I'm using uh, an iPhone. And the, uh, the main antenna port on the iPhone 5 is up at the top here. So that's how everything looks. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so for the next step, what I'm going to do is put my iPhone into test mode. And you do that by entering this, uh, this code here and then pressing call. And it'll put it into field test mode. And I actually get really good uh, AT&T 4G service uh, pretty much uh, all over here, even in the basement. Uh, so what I'm going to do for just for testing purposes is uh, kind of shield the signal a little bit um, by putting it in this metal this metal box to kind of cut down on the signal getting to it. So uh, as you can see, I'm gonna zoom in here. Our signal uh, is about negative 81. It just jumped to negative 99. Okay, so that just updated a little bit. So that's our signal strength with no uh, patch antenna. That's just the phone. Uh, in a box and um, that box is made to uh, simulate basically a basement or um, any other environment where you don't really have good uh, good reception alright 
Alright, so I have uh, reattached the, actually uh, just attached the um, external patch antenna here. Again, that's just a simple Velcro connection. There's no actual hardwired connection to the phone. Um, on the iPhone, the main antenna is up at the top. Um, I believe there's also one at the bottom, um, but I'm just going to use the one at the top right now. And so obviously on your specific device, um, you'll need to figure out where the best location for this, uh, this patch antenna is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and enter uh, test mode again. And I'm going to go ahead and drop it in the box. zoom in here. So as you can see, negative 83, uh, which is what, 16, 17 dB, yeah, 16 dB better than uh, what we just had um, with no antenna connected whatsoever. It was negative uh, 99. So what you should usually expect is uh, generally at least the signal level you have outside, if not uh, a tad bit better. Um, basically the Yagi is going to provide 8 to 10 dB of gain depending on your carrier and the technology uh, you're interested in boosting. Uh, you're going to lose some in the cable, uh, typically 1 to 2 dB. Uh, you shouldn't lose any more than that. And then you lose a little bit again in your uh, induct in inductive coupling process. But um, yeah, you should at least be getting uh, the signal level that you would normally get um, outside. So on to the next step. All right, so the next step uh, is to see how these signal levels actually relate to uh, download and upload speeds on your on your wireless device. So what I've done is I've uh, opened up the speedtest.net app and I'm gonna make sure my phone doesn't go to sleep and, and tap the screen there. Um, and I've taken the patch antenna back off, so it's just the phone and it's in a, this metal box here to kind of shield it a little bit. Again, just to represent a um, uh, an area, possibly a basement, uh, that doesn't have uh, very good uh, coverage. And so as you can see, we've still got uh, three bars of uh, AT&T 4G service, so that's still still pretty good. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and run this test here. I'm actually going to run it uh, probably three, three times just so we can take an average of the results. Um, anytime you're doing speed tests, you always want to take, uh, you know, two or three and average the results. All right, so right now we're uh, almost eight megs down, which is definitely not bad for AT&T 4G for sure. And that's um, again, that's in this this enclosed metal box here. Uh, probably can't see it too well, but there you go. I'll get back to the test here. So there you have it, 7.72 uh, down and a little over half a meg up. And I'm going to restart the test here. Still uh, about three bars, AT and T 4G. And under under five megs on that one. And a little under a meg on the upload. So just so we can average here, let's restart the test. under five on the upload again and or sorry a little under five on the download and about one on the upload all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reattach the external uh, patch antenna and we'll run the test again all right so I reattach the external patch antenna and you can see it coming into the box here uh, so the first thing you notice, uh, we should have at least an extra bar on AT&T 4G, which we do. And I'm going to go ahead and run the test. There you go. Huge differences already. Almost 11.5 megs on, uh, on 4G.
standard 4G. This is this is just regular 4G, not 4G LTE. And a little under a meg and a half on the upload. So that's your first test. Let's run it again. Wow, yeah, roughly the same. <clears throat> About 11 megabytes down, or megabits down, sorry. And um, let's check the upload here. One point seven six, so a little bit better on the upload as well. Uh, so just for so we can average everything just one more time. Roughly the same. So basically, our result is that um, we're getting almost almost double. Uh, the download and upload speed, or at least the download speed, the upload is roughly the same, not too much of a difference. Still better uh, with the antenna, but uh, uh, definitely a huge, huge difference there. Um, so again, this is Ryan with MyCellSignalBooster.com. This is our uh, passive antenna kit. Again, this uh, this is with no amplification. Uh, so ideal um, a situation for this this setup would be uh, if you've got a decently high outdoor signal strength for your carrier um, but due to building construction materials such as block brick um, a metal foil backed insulation um, all those stuff impede uh, the signal getting into your your residence so this this kit may be a perfect solution for you if you've got a Wi-Fi hotspot um, or a uh, USB modem, or you know any kind of uh, device like that, where you need to boost your your data speeds. Uh, this is a perfect way to do it. Um, basically, again, the, the kit includes the wideband uh, Yagi antenna, which gets mounted on the roof. It includes a 40-foot cable to run into the home, and then uh, the final step is this: the passive uh, Wilson. Um, Wilson adapter that again attaches to the back of the device. So <clears throat> again this is Ryan with MyCellSignalBooster.com and uh, if you'd like to purchase this kit uh, check us out at MyCellSignalBooster.com and uh, this kit will be on our, our home page uh, for a while uh, if you'd like to check it out. Alright thanks and have a great day.